Sentence structure number one. Are you sure? Examples. One. Are you sure? Two. Are you sure about that? Three. Are you sure of what you said? Four. Are you sure that he is not coming? Dialogue. I've had so many problems with my new car. It's driving me crazy. Are you sure you don't want to buy a new one? How can I? I already spent a lot of money on this one. I guess you'll be spending a lot of money on repairs then. I guess so. Unless you want to buy the car. No thanks. I don't think I'd want to buy your car. It has too many problems. I don't blame you. It's a piece of junk. Sentence structure number two. Are you used to? Examples. One. Are you used to using chopsticks? Two. Are you used to life here? Three. Are you used to staying up late? Dialogue. How long have you been living in China? About three years now. Are you used to eating the food here? Yes, I like it very much. What about chopsticks? Are you used to using them? It took me a while to get used to it, but now it's a piece of cake. Sentence structure number three. As far as I remember. Examples. One. As far as I can remember, he didn't come home until midnight. Two, as far as I recollect, there were a few people in the village then. Three, as far as I recall, they quarreled very often at that time. Four, as far as I can see, he's a big liar. Dialogue. Have you seen Tom? Nope. As far as I can remember, he was supposed to be on a business trip to Lisbon. Yes, but he was supposed to be back by now. Have you called his home? Yeah, but there is no answer. Maybe you should call the police and file a missing persons report. Sentence structure number four: As far as is concerned. Examples. One, as far as I'm concerned. I don't mind that you wear this mini skirt. The coat is fine as far as color is concerned, but it is not very good quality. Three, so far as he's concerned, nothing is as important as his daughter. Dialogue. Have you seen the movie Silence of the Lambs? Yes, it gave me the creeps. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Yes, it was. As far as I'm concerned, I'm never going to see another movie like that again. Well, as far as the plot is concerned, I think it's an interesting movie. Yes, but some of the scenes were too gory. Sentence structure number five. Be careful with. Examples. One, be careful with the wet paint. Two, be careful that you don't catch a cold. Put on more clothes before you go out. Three, be careful not to spill the milk. Dialogue. She has been calling me for several days now. I think she's interested in me. Are you sure? I think she's already has a boyfriend. How do you know? A friend of hers told me. I'd be careful if I were you. Why? Because I heard her boyfriend is a weightlifter. Wow, you're right. I guess I better not call her. Sentence structure number six. But this doesn't mean that. Examples. One, we are your employees, but this doesn't mean that we must obey you unconditionally. Two, you are much older than I am. But it doesn't mean that you are right about everything. Three, I support this measure, but it doesn't mean that I support you without reservation. Four, I like you, but this doesn't mean that I'll marry you. Dialogue. 
Dear, we have been driving around aimlessly for hours. Don't you think we should ask for directions? Look, honey, maybe we've been driving for a long time, but this doesn't mean that we're lost. Really? Then what have we been doing all this time? Well, we're taking the scenic route. Oh, I see. You just don't want to admit that we're lost. You know, sometimes you're too proud. Okay, we're lost. But this doesn't mean that you have to rub it in. Sentence structure number seven. By the way. Examples. One. By the way, is there a bathroom in the apartment? Two. By the way, do you have any change on you? Three. By the way, he is a difficult person. Dialogue. I need to lose weight. Yeah, me too. By the way, when was the last time you exercised? I can't remember. How about we both go running tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. That way we can lose weight and get in shape at the same time. By the way, do you have any running shoes I can borrow? Sure, I'll lend you an extra pair. Sentence structure number eight. Compared to. Examples. One, compared to other students, she is quite hardworking. Two, compared to city life, country life is quiet and peaceful. Three, compared to fans, air conditioners are more comfortable. Dialogue. So, how do you like your new job? Compared to my last one, it's a lot more interesting. What was your last job? I was a night security guard. That sounds interesting. Not really, since compared to my new job, I hardly saw anybody else while I was on duty. Sentence structure number nine: Did you used to? Examples. One: Did you used to live in Tokyo? Two: Did you used to get up early? Three: You used to smoke heavily, didn't you? Dialogue. Did you used to have any really bad habits? I used to bite my toenails when I was younger, but now I don't. What made you stop? One day I bit my toenail too deeply and my toe started bleeding, so I learned my lesson and didn't bite my toenails again. Sentence structure number ten: Don't ever. Examples. One: Don't ever lose these papers. They are of great importance to our company. Two, don't ever miss a good opportunity. Three, don't ever arrive late for an interview. Dialogue. Mom, can I go swimming in the pool now? But you just had your lunch. I know, but it's hot and I want to cool off. Don't ever go swimming right after eating, or else you'll get cramps. When can I go swimming then? Why don't you wait for at least a half an hour? Sentence structure number eleven. Do you agree? Examples. One. Do you agree that we should start early? Two. Do you agree with my plan? Three. Will he agree to the conditions in the contract? Dialogue. I think studying English is boring and a waste of time. Don't you agree? No, I think it's really important if you want to have a good job in the future. But it's too hard to learn. I don't agree. You just have to work at it and be persistent. Maybe you're right. I guess I need to work harder at it and be more disciplined. Sentence structure number twelve. Do you carry this in? Examples. One, do you carry this in size ten? Two, do you carry this in beige? Three, do you have this in medium? Dialogue. How do you like this sweater? It looks beautiful. Can I try it on? Sure, go ahead. Oh, I'm afraid it's too tight on me. Do you carry this in a larger size? Yes, we do. Here, try this one. This is perfect. I'll take this one.
Sentence structure number thirteen. Do you have available examples? One. Do you have any single rooms available? Two. Do you have any tickets available? Three. Do you have any shoes in size twenty available? Dialogue. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking to buy a leather jacket. What kind of leather jacket are you interested in? I was wondering, do you have any black leather jackets available? Sure, we do. Why don't you sit down and I'll get you some to try on? Okay, thanks. Sentence structure number fourteen. Do you mind? Examples. One. Would you mind if I smoke here? Two. Do you mind opening the window? It's so stuffy in here. Three. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Dialogue. Well, now you have been working with our company for ten years now. Yes, I know. It's been a long time. In all this time, you have never asked for a raise. Do you mind if I ask you why? That's because my wife is rich. Really? What does she do? Well. She owns your company. Sentence structure number fifteen. Do you feel like examples? One. Do you feel like going for a walk on the beach? Two. Do you feel like going shopping at the mall? Three. Do you feel like eating some ice cream or having cake or both? Four. Do you feel like having some coffee? Five. Do you feel like getting a bite to eat? Dialogue. I'm so bored. Feel like watching a movie? No, I feel like going dancing. Where do you want to go? How about Sam's Disco? I don't feel like going there. It's always too crowded. We'll try the disco down the block. It's called Rick's Disco. Okay. We'll give it a try. Sentence structure number sixteen. Shouldn't we? Examples. One. Shouldn't we ask for permission first? Two. Shouldn't we read the directions before we install the air conditioner? Three. Shouldn't we check the weather before we go out? Four. Shouldn't you try to save some money rather than spend it all? Dialogue. Are you ready to go to the beach? Wait. Shouldn't we check the weather report before we leave? No. It's a beautiful day and the sun is out. I heard on the news last night that there was a forecast for rain. You shouldn't believe everything you hear on TV. Sentence structure number seventeen. Have you ever? Examples. One. Have you ever been to New York? Two, have you ever been to Nanjing? Three, have you ever seen ghost? Four, have you ever wondered if there is life after death? Five, have you ever heard of it? Dialogue. I want to quit my job. Why? What's the matter? Nothing. I just want to change. But you have a great job, and you've been working there for ten years. I know, but haven't you ever wanted to do something different? I guess so, but it seems more prudent to just stay where I am and continue working in my current job. Sentence structure number eighteen: Not until. Examples. One, don't tell him the bad news until he finishes his exam. Two, the secret was not discovered until he was dead. Three, I won't stop shouting until you let me go. Dialogue. I heard that Bill got divorced. Yes, he is really sad now. I thought he wanted to get divorced because he didn't love his wife anymore. Yes, but he didn't realize how much he needed her until they got divorced. Yeah, well, it's too late now. She already has another husband. That's too bad. 
Sometimes people often don't appreciate what they have until they lose it. Sentence structure number nineteen. He is as, as. Examples. One, he is as poor as a church mouse. Two, he is fit as a fiddle, though he is already seventy. Three, Shelley's father is always as busy as a bee. Four, the twin sisters are as different as night and day. Five, the lecture is as dull as ditch water. Dialogue. Have you seen him run in a race? Yes, he's as fast as the wind when he runs. But he's not too good when it comes to studying. One of my friends said he's as dumb as a post. That's not a nice thing to say. Maybe it's not nice, but it's true. Sentence structure number twenty. He is either, or. Examples. One. He is either drunk or mad. Two, it's either your fault or her fault. Three, either you are wrong or I am. Dialogue. Do you have the report you promised me? What report? You know your work report. Either you're kidding me, or I'm getting forgetful in my old age. I think it's the latter. I'm sorry. I'll hand it in tomorrow. Sentence structure number twenty-one. He is so that. Examples. One, I was so interested in the film that I went to see it several times. Two, it's so hot that none of us want to go out. Three, he speaks French so well that we think he is a Frenchman. Dialogue. Can you believe the weather we've been having lately? Yeah, it's really hot, isn't it? It's so hot you can fry an egg on the sidewalk. Maybe you're exaggerating a little bit. Okay, maybe it's not that hot, but it's hot enough to get a heat stroke. You make it sound so hot I don't want to leave my air-conditioned house. Sentence structure number twenty-two. He is not only, but also. Examples. One, he is not only humorous but also patient. Two, he is not only a good leader but also an eloquent speaker. Three, I am not only going to the party; I am also going to sing at it. Four, not only do I support you, so do your acquaintances. Dialogue. Have you seen the movie Gone with the Wind? Yeah, I think Vivian Lee is beautiful. She's not only beautiful; she's also a talented actress. Yes, I've enjoyed all her movies. Which one is your favorite? I like her best in A Streetcar Named Desire. Sentence structure number twenty-three. Help yourself to. Examples. One, make yourself at home. Help yourself to some fish. Two, help yourself to the refrigerator. Three, help yourself to some steak. I made it especially for you. Dialogue. Thanks for inviting me over for dinner this evening. You're welcome. It looks delicious. Well, here, help yourself to some shrimp. It's fresh. Thank you. Mmm, it tastes delicious. Have some more. I don't want you to leave hungry. Sentence structure number twenty-four. How about examples? One. How about going for a spin in my new car? Two. How about minding your own business? Three. How about those Yankees? Four. What about your holidays? Five. What about his qualifications for the job? Dialogue. Is it time to get up already? Yes, dear. It's six a.m. You have to hurry up and get dressed. I guess so. Hey, honey, how about making me a cup of coffee while I hop in the shower? Sure, dear. How would you like your coffee? With milk and sugar, please. 
Sure, right away. Now take that shower before it gets too late. Sentence structure number twenty-five. How come? Examples. One, you forgot to bring your homework again. How come? Two, how come your little sister is so angry? Three, how come we were not invited to the party? Dialogue. Are you going to your sister's wedding? I decided not to go. How come you're not going? Because I'm afraid that if I go, I'll catch the bouquet of flowers, and then I'll have to get married. Don't be silly. Just make sure you don't catch it. Hey, that's a good idea. I never thought of that. Sentence structure number twenty-six. How dare you? Examples. One. How dare you call me fat? Two. How dare you speak to me like that? Three. How dare he do that to me? Four. How dare you turn him down? Dialogue. David, more and more money has been missing from the company's funds over the past six months. Really? What's been happening? Obviously, somebody has been stealing the money. Who do you think it could be? Well, you're the accountant. You tell me. Do you think I did it? How dare you accuse me of stealing? Sentence structure number twenty-seven. How do you like? Examples. One. How do you like your new apartment? Two. How do you like your new colleagues? I love them. They are very friendly to me. Three. How does your mother like the tea set? Dialogue. How long have you been in China? A few months. How do you like living here? Great. I'm having a great time. How do you like the food here? It's pretty good. I just can't get used to using chopsticks. You'll get used to them after a while. Sentence structure number twenty-eight. How long does it take? Examples. One. How long does it take to get to the station by subway? Two. How long will it take to build the stadium? It will take about eighteen months. Three. How long did it take you to knit this sweater? Dialogue. Did you finish the assignment I gave you last week? Sure, no problem. Really, you didn't think it was difficult? Actually, it was pretty easy. How long did it take you to finish the assignment? It only took a day. My friend and I did it together, so it was easier. Sentence structure number twenty-nine. How often? Examples. One. How often is there a leap year? Every fourth year. Two. How often is there a flight to Shanghai? Three. How often do you write to your parents? Dialogue. I've been having bad dreams lately. Really? How often? Just about every night. What do you dream about? I dream about being in a boat, and suddenly a storm comes, and I drown because I can't swim. Maybe you should learn how to swim, then you won't have any nightmares. Sentence structure number thirty. I bet. Examples. One. I bet we're lost. Two. I bet he is home now. Three, I bet he will win the prize. Dialogue. Where's my wallet? You left it on your desk, remember? I know, but it's not there anymore. I bet Sally took it. What makes you think so? I saw her hanging around your desk when you weren't there. Sentence structure number thirty-one. I can hardly believe that. Examples. One, I can hardly believe that he is deaf. He can understand us so well. Number two, I can hardly believe that Paul was put in prison for bribery. Three, I can hardly believe what I have seen. Dialogue. I have some bad news for you. What's the matter? 
Our company has been having some financial troubles, and we have to lay off some workers. Really? I'm afraid so. And you're one of the workers whose job we'll have to cut. I can hardly believe my ears. I never thought I would lose my job here. Sentence structure number thirty-two. I can't help. Examples. One, I can't help laughing every time I think of that. Two, I couldn't help noticing your ring. It's beautiful. Three, I can't help but feel sorry for him. Four, I can't help remembering how beautiful she looked. Dialogue. So how long have you known Maria? Only four days. Only four days. That's so short, and you seem so crazy about her. I know. I can't help thinking about her. She's always on my mind. Well, why don't you ask her out on a date? I'd like to, but what if she said no? I don't think I could stand the rejection. Sentence structure number thirty-three. I can't say. Examples. One, I can't say for certain. Two. I can't say who did the best. Three, I can't say with any certainty that eating less can be a cure for obesity. Dialogue. So who do you think will win the NBA championships? I really can't say. Both teams this year seem really good. Hey, there's a game on tonight. You want to watch it with me? That sounds great. Can your brother watch it with us? Well, I can't say. He said he'd be home late from work. Sentence structure number thirty-four. I cannot wait to. Examples. One, I can't wait to see my family. Two, I can't wait to hear from you. Three, I can't wait to buy a computer. Dialogue. Only two days until my birthday. I can't wait. Now don't get too excited. You still have lots of homework to do. I hope a lot of people come to my party. Did I tell you that Aunt Jenny will be there? Really? That's great. Oh, I can't wait to see her. Me too. Okay, now get back to your homework. You still have lots to do before your birthday. Sentence structure number thirty-five. I dare say. Examples. One, I dare say you will succeed in the election. Two, I dare say he won't come. Three, I would imagine he's forgotten. I dare say he has. Dialogue. I heard the news this morning about our friend Jim. Is it true that he will be leaving us to live in Alaska? Yes. He's going there to live with the Eskimos. I dare say that's an adventurous thing to do. Yeah, well, he's going there to teach the Inuit population who suffer from high illiteracy. I hope that he will succeed and make friends with the people he'll be with. Sentence structure number thirty-six. I'd like you to. Examples. One, I'd like you to fetch some boiled water. Two. I'd like you to send for a doctor. Three, I'd like you to look after my baby for a while. Dialogue. I'd like you to do me a favor. What is it? Can you mail this at the post office for me? I have to go to the doctor for an appointment, and I don't have enough time to go to the post office. Okay, but can you get something for me when you go to the doctor's? Sure. What is it? I'd like you to get some cold medicine. I think I have a cold. Sentence structure number thirty-seven. I'd hate for you to. Examples. One, I'd hate for you to think I didn't care. Two, I hate for you to miss the party. Three, I'd hate for you to leave our company. Four, I'd hate for you to get sick. Dialogue. Do you have the five dollars I lent you yesterday? Oh, I forgot. I'll run home real quick and bring you the money. You don't have to go right away. I'd hate for you to think I was lazy in returning your money. 
That's okay. I know you're a responsible person. Yeah, but just the same. I'll go home and get the money right away. Sentence structure number thirty-eight. If it hadn't been for. Examples. One. If it hadn't been for your help, my experiments would have failed. Two. If it hadn't been for the lifeboat, I would have drowned. Three. If it hadn't been for her careful arrangement, the party would not have been a success. Four. Without my persuasion, he would not have come. Five. Without your financial support, we could not have finished the project. Dialogue. Where's my son? Don't worry, Miss. Your son will be fine. We sent him to the hospital. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Without your help, my son would have died in that fire. We got here just in time. A minute later, and it would have been almost impossible to save him. Sentence structure number thirty-nine. If there's one thing that, me, it's. Examples. One, if there is one thing that annoys me, it's people who don't keep their promises. Two, if there's one thing that disappoints me, it's his failure to arrange his time responsibly. Three, if there is one thing that upsets me, it's my forgetfulness. Four, if there is one thing that surprises me, it's his winning the competition. Five, if there is one thing that interests me, it's fashion design. Dialogue. Is that pesky lady coming into the office again? Yeah, I'm afraid so. If there's one thing that bugs me, it's her critical attitude. Yeah, well, that's her personality, I guess. But it's so annoying. She makes me feel so stupid sometimes. Just don't pay any attention to her. She won't stay long. Sentence structure number forty. I have no idea. Examples. One, I had no idea that she was a thief. Two, he has no idea how to operate these machines. Three, I have no idea what time it is. Dialogue. Have you met the new student, Sally? Yes, she's a very nice girl. I kept asking her questions in class today, but she wouldn't respond. That's because she is hard of hearing. I had no idea she had a hearing problem. It's not too serious. You should make her sit in the front of the class so she can hear you better. Sentence structure number forty-one. I have got to. Examples. One, I've got to go. Two. I've got to buy something to drink. Three. I have got to mail some cards to my friends. Four. I've got to apologize for troubling you so much. Five. You've got to try this dish. It's tasty. Dialogue. How many candy bars have you eaten today? I think I've eaten ten so far. That's too much. You've got to stop eating so much. Why? Because if you eat too much candy, you'll rot your teeth. You're right. I've got to stop eating so many sweets. Sentence structure number forty-two, as, as possible. Examples. One, I'll be back as soon as possible. Two, I'll work as hard as I can. Three, try to be as careful as possible. Four, come as quickly as possible. Five, run as fast as you can. Dialogue. I hope you'll do better this semester. I was disappointed in your grades last year. Don't worry, Dad. I'll study as hard as I can. I hope so. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'll help you as much as possible. Thanks, Dad. Your education is important for your future. I know. I'll work as hard as I can. Sentence structure number forty-three. 
I'll let you know. Examples 1. I'll let you know when I'm leaving for Beijing. 2. I'll let you know if I can make it for dinner. 3. I'll let you know if I get bored. 4. I'll let you know when I get hungry. Dialogue Are you coming to dinner tonight? I don't know. I have to work late tonight. When will you know for sure? I'll let you know this afternoon if I can make it for dinner tonight. What time this afternoon? I'll give you a call around 3. Sentence structure number 44. I'd be grateful. Examples 1. I'd be grateful for your help. 2. I'd be grateful if you'd be quiet. 3. I'd be grateful if you'd give me a hand. 4. I'd be grateful if you'd take care of my baby. 5. I'd be grateful if you danced with me. Dialogue How do you like the music at this dance club? It's great. I love dancing. Me too. You know, I'd be grateful if you'd dance with me. Sure, but first you have to do me a favor. What's that? Well, I'd be grateful if you'd stop stepping on my foot. Sentence structure number 45. I'm afraid. Examples. 1. I'm afraid you didn't quite get his meaning. 2. Could I speak to Elizabeth, please? I'm afraid she is not in at this moment. 3. I'm afraid we are going to be late. 4. I'm afraid I can't make it. Dialogue Okay, stop right there, you thief. Don't move. Don't shoot. Put your hands over your head and don't make any sudden moves. Look, officer, I'm afraid you have the wrong person. I'm the bank manager, not the thief. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've made a terrible mistake. Well, you still have a chance to get your man. I saw somebody carrying a bag full of money running that way. Sentence structure number 46. I'm calling to... Examples 1. I'm calling to say goodbye to you. 2. I'm calling to tell you that the concert begins at 7 o'clock. 3. I'm calling to book two tickets for tonight's film. 4. I'm calling to warn you of the coming storm. Dialogue Hello? Hello, is this Peter? Yes. Hello, coach. I'm calling to remind you that we have practice tomorrow. What time does it begin? We'll start at 6 a.m., so don't be late. Sentence structure number 47. I'm looking forward to... Examples 1. I'm looking forward to working with you. 2. I'm looking forward to coming to China again. 3. I'm really looking forward to the holidays. Dialogue Aunt Jane, I hope you'll be home next Sunday. I'd like you to meet my fiancé. I'm looking forward to meeting her. What's her name again? Rachel. That's such a lovely name. How long have you known each other? About two years now. I am looking forward to attending your wedding soon. Sentence structure number 48. I'm not really happy with. Examples. 1. I'm not really happy with their performance. 2. I'm not really happy with your behavior. 3. I'm not really happy with your present situation. 4. I'm not really happy with their service. 5. I'm not really happy with my life. Dialogue I've been so depressed lately. Why? What's the matter? I'm getting older, and I'm not happy with the way my life is going. What's so bad about it? I just go from girlfriend to girlfriend, and I'm never happy or satisfied. I think you're thinking too much about yourself. You need to concentrate on helping others. Sentence structure number 49. I'm thinking about. 
Examples. 1. I'm thinking about moving to a new house. 2. I'm thinking about taking a science course. 3. I'm thinking about getting a divorce. Dialogue. What are you going to have for breakfast? I'm thinking about having some eggs. That sounds good. Can you make some for me, too? Sure. How many do you want? I think I'll have two eggs. Okay. Two eggs coming right up. Sentence structure number 50. I really go for. Examples 1. I really go for Beethoven. 2. I really go for this house. It's terrific. 3. She goes for tall and handsome men. 4. I don't go much for modernism. Dialogue Hey, I'm hungry. How about you? Yeah, I can really go for some Chinese food right now. That's a great idea. Let's go to a Chinese restaurant right now. Okay, it's my treat. Are you sure? Yeah, you can pay next time. Sentence structure number 51. It is that. Examples 1. It was Jack who broke the window when we were playing football. 2. It is Jane that I want to marry. 3. It was here in the supermarket that he met his first love. Dialogue Who ate all the cookies? I think it was the dog that ate them. Are you sure? It's possible. I think it was you who ate all the cookies, but you're trying to cover it up. Sentence structure number 52. It's too bad that. Examples 1. It's too bad that we lost the match. 2. It's too bad that we have to cancel the get together. 3. It's too bad that you can't come. 4. It's too bad. 5. It's too bad that the rain spoiled our picnic. Dialogue What happened to Steve? I haven't seen him at work for a long time. He was fired because of his poor work performance. It's too bad he's gone. He had such a good sense of humor. Yes, but he also had a serious drinking problem which affected his work. I didn't know that. Yeah, he had such potential too. It's too bad. Sentence structure number 53. It's my fault for. Examples 1. It's my fault we missed the bus. 2. It's my fault you didn't get paid on time. 3. It's my fault we lost the game. Dialogue I can't find my car keys. I'm sorry, it's my fault. I accidentally locked them in the car last night when I came home. Well, at least they're not lost. That's true, but how are you going to get them out? I have another set of keys tied under the car. That was smart thinking. Sentence structure number 54. It's not that, but. Examples 1. It's not that I don't like the car, but I think it's too expensive. 2. It's not that I am unwilling to help you, but I'm tied up with extra work these days. 3. It's not that he doesn't need your help, but he thinks it will be an inconvenience to you. 4. A mountain is not famous because it is high, but because it has some spirit dwelling in it. Dialogue You have to finish your dinner before you leave the table. But, Mom, I can't eat any more. I'm stuffed. What's the matter? It doesn't taste good? It's not that I don't like your cooking, but I ate some cookies before we had dinner. And now you don't have an appetite. You know you're not supposed to have any snacks before dinner. Sorry, Mom. I promise I'll try and finish eating everything. Sentence structure number 55. It's on the tip of my tongue. Examples 1. It's on the tip of my tongue. Let me see. 2. His address is on the tip of my tongue. Wait a minute. 3. The question she wanted to ask was on the tip of her tongue. 
Dialogue. Did you see the new employee in our company? Yeah. Do you know her name? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Well, let's just ask the manager. I've got a better idea. Let's just ask her instead. Sentence structure number 56. It said that. Examples. 1. It is said that he is quite a handsome young man. 2. It's said that a new president will be appointed. 3. It should be pointed out that your proposals are theoretically correct but practically impossible. 4. It has been proven that your method is the best. 5. It will be noted that what they have done to him is wrong. Dialogue. So you've come to beg for the life of your son? Yes, Your Honor. And why do you think I should pardon him? It is said that you are a just but merciful man. Mercy is given to those who show mercy. But, Your Honor, he's my son, my own flesh and blood. He may be your own flesh and blood, but he's a cold blooded murderer. Sentence structure number 57. It's up to. Examples. 1. Do you want to eat a Western or Chinese meal? It's up to you. 2. It's up to us to help those in need. 3. It's not up to you to tell me how to do my job. Dialogue. I'm looking forward to our son's graduation this weekend. Yes, so am I. But what will he do after graduation? He really needs to go to college. Well, dear, we can't force him to go to college. It's up to him. I know that, but he has to learn to be independent. He can't just keep living at home. You're right. I'll talk to him about getting a job. Maybe he can work at my store. That's up to you, dear. You just have to make sure that he does his work and doesn't loaf around. Sentence structure number 58. It's your turn. Examples 1. It's your turn to tell a story. 2. It's your turn to cook. 3. It's your turn to sweep the floor. 4. It's your turn to give a presentation. 5. It's your turn to perform. Dialogue I have been washing the dishes for over a week now. Well, I think you are very good at doing the dishes, so maybe you should do them for another week. No. We made an agreement that we would take turns doing the dishes. Now it's your turn to do them. Okay, I'll do them. But I'll warn you, I don't think I can do them as well as you. That's okay. I'll give you plenty of chances to practice until you get really good at it. I knew you would say something like that. Sentence structure number 59. It may surprise you, but. Examples 1. It may surprise you, but I paid off all the debts in a year. 2. It may surprise you, but Meggie refused my proposal. 3. It may surprise you, but I bought all these books for 20 yuan. 4. It may surprise you, but he's just been promoted to manager. 5. It may surprise you, but he was once in prison. Dialogue How come you never go to McDonald's? This may surprise you, but I'm a vegetarian. So you don't eat any meat? That's right, no meat or dairy products. Why dairy products? Because they come from animals. Sentence structure number 60. I have been. Examples 1. I have been learning English for almost ten years. Two. I have been living here for thirty years. Three. Where have you been? We have been looking for you everywhere. Dialogue. What's the matter? You look so tired lately. I haven't been sleeping very well these past few nights. Why not? I've been worried about my financial troubles, and when I try to go to bed, I can't sleep. Why don't you try reading before you go to bed? Maybe that will make you tired. I've tried that, but it doesn't work. I end up reading books about money.
Sentence structure number sixty one. I've had enough of. Examples. One. I've had enough of her continual chatter. Two. I've had enough of your complaining. Three. Haven't you had enough of him? I found him so boring. Four. I've had enough of the traffic here. Five. I've had enough of this city. Dialogue. New York City is a tough place to live. Yeah, it's so crowded and the pollution is so bad. You know, I've had enough of this city. I'm going to quit my job and move to the country. What will you do for a job? I don't know. I'll do anything as long as it means getting out of here. Well, I don't think changing your environment will make things better. You should learn to be content where you are first. Sentence structure number sixty-two. I wonder if. Examples. One. I wonder if it would be convenient to visit you next Monday. Two. I wonder if Mr. Wong could arrange a meeting with me. Three. I was wondering if the manager would agree with my design. Four. I was wondering if you could come to the meeting this afternoon. Dialogue. Excuse me, Miss. I wonder if I could have a few minutes of your time. Why? Well, I'd like to introduce you to the new Supermodel ZX2000 vacuum cleaner. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry now. I don't have time to try it out. That's no problem. Excuse me for interrupting you. Here, have my card. Thanks. If I get a chance, I'll check out your vacuum cleaner another time. Sentence structure number sixty-three. I would rather. Then. Examples. One. I would rather stay than leave. Two. He would rather work all day long than do nothing. Three. The mother would rather die than lose her child. Four. She'd rather resign than take part in such shameful business deals. Dialogue. I'm desperate for money right now. What's the matter? I don't have enough money to pay for my rent. Why don't you ask Kurt to loan you some money? I'd rather dig trenches with a spoon than ask for his help. I wouldn't be so proud if I were you. Sounds to me you don't have much of a choice. Sentence structure number sixty-four. No matter what. Examples. One. No matter what he says, don't believe him. Two, no matter how you do it, it will be wrong. Three, no matter where he goes, he carries his suitcase. Four, no matter how you spend your holiday, tell me about it. Dialogue. What's bothering you? I want to get out of here and get away from all my problems. Are you sure that changing your location will solve your problems? No, but at least things will be different. No matter where you go, you will bring your problems with you. I guess you're right. Sentence structure number sixty-five. No wonder. Examples. One, you eat so little. No wonder you are so slim. Two, are you a librarian? No wonder you are so well read. Three, there is something wrong with your leg. No wonder you walk so slowly. Dialogue. Is there something wrong? You look so sad. My house was robbed last night, and the thieves stole all my furniture. No wonder you look so upset. Yeah, I called the police, but they said there was little they could do. Why not? Because there were no witnesses, and the thieves didn't leave any traces. Sentence structure number sixty-six. Now that I come to think about it. Examples. One. Now that I come to think about it, you're right to dismiss him. Two. Now that I come to think about it, how ignorant I was. Three. Now that I think about it, you are wise not to have accepted him. Four. Now that I think about it, 
He is a person really worth trusting. Dialogue. Where did you put my dictionary? I'm sorry, but I can't remember where I put it last. But that's my favorite dictionary. Wait. Now that I think about it, I left it on the kitchen table. How could you be so careless? You should be more careful with other people's things. Sorry, I'll be more careful next time. Sentence structure number sixty-seven. Once you. Examples. One. Once you decide, you can't change your mind. Two. Once you have a stomach ache, take the medicine twice a day. Three. Once he finds out what you've done, he'll get mad. Dialogue. My friends have been asking me to smoke cigarettes with them. Be careful. You don't give in to peer pressure. Why? First of all, smoking is bad for your health, and second, once you start smoking, it will be hard to stop. Yeah, you're right. I know a lot of people who are addicted to smoking. I bet most of them started because their friends also smoked. You're right. I won't do it. I won't smoke with my friends. Sentence structure number sixty-eight. Only to find. Examples. One, I ran to the station only to find that the train had left. Two, she came home excitedly only to find nobody was in. Three, I searched desperately for my purse only to find all my money was gone. Four, I arrived at the restaurant only to find I had no money on me. Dialogue. Why are you so late? I'm sorry, but I missed the bus. How could you miss the bus? I hurried to get to the bus stop only to find I didn't have enough change to pay the fare. I'm sorry to hear that. I had to go back home and get some change and wait for the next bus. Sentence structure number sixty-nine. On one hand. On the other hand. Examples. One. On one hand, it's convenient, but on the other hand, it's time-consuming. Two. On one hand, he is very obedient to his wife. On the other hand, he treats his parents badly. Three. On one hand, Jason does everything in the office. On the other hand, he does nothing at home. Four. As a teacher, he is very patient in class, but on the other hand, he is not so patient with his own child. Dialogue. What do you think of Shakespeare? On one hand, his plays are very interesting to watch, but on the other hand, they are hard to read. I feel the same way sometimes. So what do you do? I just try to catch the general meaning of each sentence. That sounds like a good idea. Sentence structure number sixty-nine. On one hand, on the other hand. Examples. One. On one hand, it's convenient, but on the other hand, it's time-consuming. Two. On one hand, he is very obedient to his wife. On the other hand, he treats his parents badly. Three. On one hand, Jason does everything in the office. On the other hand, he does nothing at home. Four, as a teacher, he is very patient in class, but on the other hand, he is not so patient with his own child. Dialogue. What do you think of Shakespeare? On one hand, his plays are very interesting to watch, but on the other hand, they are hard to read. I feel the same way sometimes. So what do you do? I just try to catch the general meaning of each sentence. That sounds like a good idea. Sentence structure number seventy. See that. Examples. One. See that the door is locked before you leave. Two. See that you have enough sleep every day. Three. See that you go to see your parents often. Dialogue. You were late to work again this morning. Yes, I'm sorry, but I had to help my mother go to the hospital. She was sick. I don't care what you had to do. You're supposed to be on time. See that you're not late again. But this was an emergency.
It's your third emergency this month. Yeah, well, my mother gets sick a lot. Sentence structure number seventy-one. Speaking of examples. One. Speaking of the movies, have you seen The Patriot? Two. Speaking of honesty, I know a lot of people who don't pay bus fares. Three. Speaking of Ben, have you seen him recently? Four. Speaking of bicycles, China is called the Kingdom of Bicycles. Dialogue. I can't wait until Valentine's Day. Speaking of Valentine's Day, how's your girlfriend? She's doing good. I took her out to dinner last night. Did you have a good time? Yeah, the food was delicious. Hey, speaking of food, are you hungry? Let's grab a bite to eat. That sounds great. Let's get some Chinese food. Sentence structure number seventy-two. Thanks to examples. One, thanks to their help, we accomplish the task on time. Two, thanks to computers, lots of tasks are now easier. Three, thanks to your timely warning, I didn't make a mistake. Four, thanks to your stupidity, we lost our game. Dialogue. I'm so glad we won the game. Thanks to you, you scored the final goal and won. Actually, you deserve the credit. Thanks to you, the ball was passed to me and I scored. Yeah, we all work together. I hope that we can win the next game. If we work together like we did this past game, I'm sure we will. Sentence structure number seventy-three. Thank you for. Examples. One. Thank you for what you have done for me. Two. Thank you for your help. Three. Thank you for the gift. Four. Thank you for giving me a lift. Five. Thank you for your advice. Dialogue. I have a big favor to ask. What is it? Well, I need to borrow one thousand dollars for the down payment on a car. Okay, I'll lend you the money, but you have to pay it back as soon as you can. I promise I will. Thanks a million. You're welcome. Sentence structure number seventy-four. The first thing I'm going to do when is examples. One. The first thing I'm going to do when I get home is sleep for a whole day. Two, the first thing I'm going to do when I get a pay raise is to treat you to dinner. Three, the first thing I'm gonna do when I spend my vacation in the country is go fishing. Dialogue. Did you get a package in the mail today? I sure did. What was it? A box of cookies from my mom. That's great. She's coming here next week, isn't she? Yes, she is. The first thing I'm going to do when I see her is give her a hug and thank her. Sentence structure number seventy-six. There is nothing as, as. Examples. One. There is nothing as exciting as meeting an old friend unexpectedly. Two. For me. There is nothing as enjoyable as reading a novel on the grass. Three, there is nothing as pleasant as spending a weekend in the countryside. Four, there is nothing as refreshing as having a good rest. Dialogue. Do you cook for yourself? Yes, I do, but it's not the same as what my mother makes. I know what you mean. There's nothing as good as home cooking. My mom's given me some recipes, but when I make them, they don't come out the same as when she cooks. Maybe you should just ask her to cook for you. No, I'd rather try and learn myself. Sentence structure number seventy-seven. There is nothing I like better than. Examples. One. There is nothing I like better than listening to the radio. Two. There is nothing women like better than shopping. Three. There is nothing she likes better than chatting with friends. Dialogue. D 
Did you just finish playing basketball? Yes, and I'm so thirsty. How about a coke? That sounds great. There's nothing better than a cold coke when you're hot and thirsty. So how does it taste? Great. Thanks a million. Sentence structure number seventy-eight. We'd be better off without. Examples. One. We'd be better off without them as neighbors. Two. We'd be better off without them at the party. Three. They'd be better off without their wives around them. Four. I'd be better off without the incident on my mind. Dialogue. Our new dog has been howling all night long. I know it's really getting on my nerves. We should have gotten a quieter pet, like a fish. I agree. I think we'd be better off without a dog. So what are we going to do? I guess we'll have to bring it back to the animal shelter. Sentence structure number seventy-nine. We'd better. Examples. One. We'd better buy a computer. Two, you'd better not ask him. Three, you had best accept his success. Four, you had best set out early. Dialogue. I heard the temperature is going to drop dramatically tonight. Really? Yes. So you'd better dress warmly before you go out. I will. Thanks for telling me. You're welcome. I wouldn't want you to catch a cold. Thanks for your concern. I don't want to get sick either. Sentence structure number eighty. We may as well. Examples. One. We may as well buy a Benz since you don't like Ford. Two. We may as well have a try since it's worth doing. Three. We may as well take the risk. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Dialogue. We've been looking for your lost CD for hours. It's got to be here somewhere. We'll never find it. We may as well give up. No way! It's my favorite CD. Okay, I'll help you look for another ten minutes. Then I'm going home. Don't worry. I know we'll find it. Sentence structure number eighty-one. What becomes of? Examples. One. What became of the poor child? Two. What will become of my family if my father goes bankrupt? Three. What will become of my dog during my absence? Four. What will become of the water if we put it outside during the winter? Dialogue. Remember that old man who used to beg for money on the street across from our house? Yeah. Whatever became of him? Well, he got a job, and now he owns a small ice cream shop in town. That's great. We should visit him sometime. Yeah, we should. Let's go today and get some ice cream. Then we can ask him how he's been and how he started his business. Sentence structure number eighty-two. What can I do for? Examples. One, what can I do for you? Two, what can I do to cheer her up? Three, what can I do to make him satisfied? Four, what can I do to stop them? Dialogue. Excuse me, are you the tailor? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? Well, I'd like to have a business suit made for me. Sure. Let me take your measurements. Then you can tell me what style you'd like. When do you think you can finish the suit? Well, it depends on what style you want. Business suits usually take about a week to finish. Sentence structure number eighty-three. What do you mean by? Examples. One. What do you mean by saying that? Two. What do you mean by canceling your performance? Three. What do you mean by out of the question? Four. What do you mean by asking such a question? Dialogue. Happy anniversary. What do you mean? Today is our one-month anniversary of dating. Oh, I see. 
You know, everything has a beginning and an end. What do you mean by saying that? Well, I think it's time for us to break up. I'm sorry. Sentence structure number eighty-five. What do you say? Examples. One. What do you say about going to the cinema this afternoon? Two. Let's go by plane. What do you say? Three. What do you say about some light music? Dialogue. I'm so upset. What's the matter? My girlfriend broke up with me today. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, what do you say you and I go to the movies this afternoon? Maybe that will cheer you up. That sounds like a good idea. Sure, it is. It will get your mind off of your girlfriend. I mean, your ex-girlfriend. Sentence structure number eighty-six. What? Four. Examples. One. What is it for? Two. What did you say that for? Three. What do you need so much money for? Dialogue. Have you heard that my father is going to quit his job? What would he do that for? He said work is too hectic and that he needs a break. What will he do to earn a living? He said he would take a vacation for a while and then go into the carpentry business. He thinks it will be more relaxing. Well, I hope he's happy. Sentence structure number eighty-seven. What if? Examples. One. What if it rains when we have no umbrella with us? Two. What if they are against us? Three. What if we get lost in the jungle? Four. What if they don't approve of our earning some money in our spare time? Dialogue. Did you hear the weather forecaster's prediction for rain tomorrow? Yeah, but I never believe the weather reports because they are usually wrong. But what if he's right? I guess we'll have to change our plans for tomorrow. That means we can't go to the beach. Only if it rains. Sentence structure number eighty-eight. What I'm trying to say is. Examples. One. What I'm trying to say is that he is a good husband. Two. What I'm trying to say is that it's worth buying. Three. What I'm trying to say is that human nature doesn't change. Four. What I'm trying to say is that you should think of others. Five. What I'm trying to say is that smoking is harmful. Dialogue. Where did you put my Walkman? I forget. You should be more careful with other people's things. Are you saying I'm careless? What I'm trying to say is that when you borrow something from someone, you should take good care of it. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'll try to find it right away. Sentence structure number eighty-nine. What's the matter with? Examples. One. What's the matter with him? Two, what's the matter with your finger? It's bleeding. Three, what's wrong with this machine? Four, what's wrong with you, Mum? You look so pale. Five, what's wrong with your car? Dialogue. Your face is so pale. Are you okay? No, I've had a fever for a few days, and I am sick to my stomach. What's the matter with you? I think I have food poisoning. What do you think it was from? I had some raw seafood the other day at a Japanese restaurant. Maybe that was it. Sentence structure number ninety. What would you do if? Examples. One. What would you do if you were me? Two. What would you do if you were in my shoes? Three. What would you do if you had a lot of money? Four. What would you do if you failed? Five. What would you do if the rumors were true? Dialogue. Can I ask you a hypothetical question? Sure. Go ahead. What would you do if you were given a million dollars? 
Well, first I'd buy a nice house for my parents to live in and take care of all their financial problems. Then I'd buy a house for my sister and do the same. That's very nice of you. I'd just like to take care of my family as best as I can. Sentence structure number 91. What's the use of? Examples. 1. What's the use of talking about it? 2. What's the use of crying over spilt milk? 3. What's the point of arguing with her? 4. What's the point of worrying about it? Dialogue. How long have you been studying English? Over ten years now, but my English is not very fluent at all. Why not? I don't like speaking English because I'm afraid of making mistakes. What's the use of studying English if you won't speak it? You're right. I should try to speak out more and not be so afraid of making mistakes. Sentence structure number 92. What's your favorite? Examples. 1. What's your favorite dish? 2. Who's your favorite film star? 3. What's your favorite subject? 4. Which is your favorite book? Dialogue. I love ice cream. Really? Me too. What's your favorite flavor? Well, I like both strawberry and coffee ice cream. I like vanilla best. What's your second favorite ice cream flavor? My second favorite is peppermint. Sentence structure number 93. Where can I? Examples. 1. Where can I get a map? 2. Where can I find a policeman? 3. Where can I find him? Dialogue. I plan to go to Beijing this summer. That sounds great. Where will you go when you get there? I'm not sure yet. I have to make a plan. Where can I get a map of Beijing? I have one I can lend to you. That would be great. I'll take care of it and give it back when I'm done. Okay, just be careful because it's my only copy. Sentence structure number 94. Where there is, there is. Examples 1. Where there are difficulties, there are ways to get over them. 2. Where there is opposition, there are rebellions. 3. Where there is contact, there is friction. 4. Where there are women, there are jealousy and suspicion. 5. Where there is a will, there is a way. Dialogue Dad, I'll be having my college interview with Harvard University next week. That's great, son. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, but the problem is the competition to get into that college is very stiff. Well, are you sure you really want to go there? Yes, I've wanted to go to that college since I was in junior high school. Don't worry, son. If you really want to go there, then I'm sure you will get in. Remember, where there's a will, there's a way. Sentence structure number 95. Whether or not. Examples. 1. Whether it rains or not, we'll hold the sports meet. 2. They'll find out the truth whether or not you tell it to them. 3. Whether or not we like it, we have to accept it. 4. Whether you are willing or not, you have to do it. Dialogue. I don't like this movie. Look, I already paid for the tickets, so whether you like it or not, we're going to finish watching it. Well, I'll just read a book then. Don't be such a stick in the mud. Just watch it with me. But I don't like it. Come on, give it a chance. The movie just started. Sentence structure number 96. Why not? Examples 1. Why not try to persuade him to give up smoking? 2. Why don't you go ask the teacher? 3. Why not buy some ready made food? 4. Let's go to see a film tonight.
Sure, why not? Dialogue. I'd like you to introduce the guest speaker at the student assembly today. Why me? I can't do that. Why not? You're a good student, and I think you will do a great job. But I've never spoken in front of so many people before. I wouldn't know what to say. Don't worry. I'll help you prepare the speech. Why not give it a try? Okay. I guess I have nothing to lose. Sentence structure number 97. Would you care for. Examples 1. Would you care for something to drink? 2. Would you care for some tea? 3. Would you like to borrow my car? 4. Would you like to try yourself? Dialogue How was your meal? It was delicious. Would you care for some dessert? What do you recommend? There's a Greek pastry called baklava that's made of chopped nuts, butter, and cinnamon all soaked in honey. Would you like to try it? Sure, it sounds delicious. Sentence structure number 98. You are not to. Examples 1. You are not to doze off in class. 2. You are not to waste your time doing nothing. 3. You are not to scribble on the wall. 4. You are not to take photos in the museum. Dialogue May I see your daughter, please? My daughter is very upset right now. Please, just give me a chance. I want to talk to her. I'm sorry, but you're not to see her again. But why? You're a monster. She doesn't need someone like you to break her heart. Sentence structure number 99. You can never. Two. Examples. One. You can never be too careful driving. Two. We cannot praise him enough as a hero. Three. One cannot practice enough when learning a foreign language. Four. You can never overestimate Shakespeare's plays. Five. You can never overemphasize the importance of physical training. Dialogue. Where is Alan? He's late. Did you give him directions on how to get here? He told me he already knew how to get here. You can never be too sure with him. Why is that? Because he has a bad sense of directions and he always gets lost. Sentence structure number 100. You only have to in order to. Examples 1. You only have to ask her in order to know what has happened. 2. You only have to call her in order to know whether she will come or not. 3. I only have to consult the digital dictionary in order to find out the meaning of a word I don't know. 4. You only have to ask the teacher in order to solve the problem. 5. You only have to get some newspapers in order to find the advertisements you need. Dialogue Have you started your report yet? I'm having a hard time getting the information. It's so easy to get information these days. Then how can I get it? You only have to search the internet in order to get the information you're looking for. Oh, 